Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Season, and today I'm going to show you the calibration settings for the LG C1 OLED series. It's last year's 2021 model and it's a pretty popular TV. So, without any delay, let's get to it. First, We choose as per bright space. Then we go to settings. We go to advanced settings. And on brightness, OLED bright pixels. Brightness, you could leave it at 80. Contrast, drop it to 74. Screen brightness, 55. Actually, you can leave it at 52 or 50. Gamma just brightness at 2.2. Black level, obviously, you leave it at limited. Then you go to color. Color depth, you leave it at 50. Tint, zero. Color gamut, you put it at auto. And then on fine tune, we're going to go to the red color. And then you're going to put saturation at negative 15, tint negative 1, and luminance 3. Then on green, saturation 0, tint 21 and luminance negative 24 and blue you put saturation negative 15 tint negative 17 and luminance 7 then we go to white balance and white balance the color temperature is going to be 50 on the method on the two-point method, on high, you're going to do red 6, green 0, and blue negative 9. Then on, on low, red, you're going to leave it at, put it at negative 1, green 0, and blue, ne blue 1. Then we go to the 10 point level calibrations and then we're going to drop it to, we're going to start at, at 10, 10 is going to be 0, green 0, red 0, blue 0, 20, Brightness zero, red zero, green zero, blue zero. Then on um, 30. Zero, 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 zero. At 40. Forty is going to have zero, red zero, green zero, and blue is going to be one. Fifty. Brightness zero, red zero, green zero, blue zero. Sixty. Brightness zero, red zero, green and blue zero. 70. Brightness zero, red zero, green zero and blue zero.
and 80. Brightness, red, green, and blue, zero. And 90. All of them, zero. And then at 100. All of them, zero. Well, that's it, everyone. I hope you get to like and enjoy the settings. If you don't like it, you can always reset. That's the good thing about it. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you have any thoughts or comments, just write it down below. This is Ethan, and I hope to see you next time.